everybody, and welcome back to the Paradox Mini Campaign, Crusader Kings 2, and soon to be Europa Universalis 4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as my esteemed co host, uh, Mathis and Aruma. Say hello. 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 Let's begin. So, like, what's going to happen if I port this over to EU4? What am I going to be looking like as Leon? Right now? Uh, yeah, what, what would it look like? Up. <laughs> my wife is dead. You're going to be pretty, pretty sh uh, shattered little realm. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be messy. Uh, that sucks. I'm not going to be walking in with any power at all. You can, no, you can take it back, man. You still got 40 years. It's <laughs> not gonna no be, army. It's not going to be easy, but, oh, you got time. Yeah, Fortune that's a, builder might have such. That's surprising. We've already played like 60 years. 65, 70. No, Mathis, I'm sending you the marriage request. Whatever, I accept. I'm the father of the bride. I get to call the shots. Uh, what do I want? I want prestige. All right. Shall I... Wait, you calling me into war? <laughs> <laughs> for what? I, I called you into war for this peasant revolt, Mathis. Your peasant revolt? Yeah. Okay, mm. sure. Nice. Now I can see your whole country. Yeah. It's, it's really not exciting. Like a, it's not a strategic advantage, I'm just saying. There's nothing to be strategic about. Would you like a pitiful amount of my country? <laughs> yes, please. I have to. Now I get to lose this war. Oh, we're going to win this war. Easy. You come. Are you part of it? Obviously, I invited you in. Not that war, my oh, the, war. With Asturias. You have a war with Asturias right now? Yes, and I'm at negative 41%. How did that happen so quickly? Because he crushed my only army. Oh, man. Arumba, what do you have going on there? I, I hear occasionally chuckles out of the other side of the... <laughs> yeah, I, uh, well, the yeah, Jews, it, the, the decision avail became available to invite the Jews back. Yeah. So I was like, hey, all you Jewish people, you're welcome in our country again. And then as they came in on the boats, I said, just kidding. Give us 500 gold and get the, <laughs> get the hell out. <laughs> so just, wow, you're a real asshole. I know. I took 500 gold and it was glorious. It was great. It's funny that you're able to do those events or those decisions so quickly back and back. A room, or sorry, Mathis, you're not going to invite me into your war? Uh, yeah, hang on. Um, why do I have an alliance with... Why is the emperor of the Aztec Empire my uncle? <laughs> you married into the Aztecs. No, I didn't. I married I, your, your woman. No, no, but a, a few generations ago, I recall you marrying directly into the Aztecs. Why you would do that, I, I think I remember at the time there was a, you know, there were important moments going on, but... Hmm. Now it seems silly, doesn't it? I wonder if I could get a claim on it. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the entire empire? Yeah. That would be hilarious if you started as the Aztec Emperor. That would be fucking hilarious. Mm. Uh, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and invite... Where are you? There you are. It's up to you. You don't have to invite me into the war. Who are these people? Why is Castile getting involved? They want elective monarchy? Yeah, I don't fucking Forget want that. that. Yeah. I think no, thank you. Support it. And then see if you can maintain the election. That's a good, good idea. Maintain it with what, my Yeah, my with, hair. with steel. That's what we're going to maintain it with. Cast steel. Ah, that was... Womp, womp. Powerful group of loyalists have presented an ultimatum to usurp Emperor... Uh, Emperor who? They, holy shit. They just formed a... F they just formed um, a, a, a faction for the Aztec Empire to put me in charge. What? In in the Aztec Empire? Yeah. Awesome. That's so awesome. I don't know. Am I, how can I look at that? Like, is there a way to look at the factions? How, why is Toulouse independent and so severe? Yeah, also, the Archbishop appears to be asking that same question. He's like, what? A <laughs> I thought you guys had my back here. <laughs> What's happening right now? <laughs> I think that there was an independence faction, and he just said no. He just released, I think the Aztec Emperor just released people. And let me know once you can go to war for that, because I would totally accept your call to arms. That'd be hilarious. I don't think I can ever declare war on him for it, though. I don't, I, I'm not in charge of the faction, am I? So you don't choose when it fires? I don't think so. Oh, man. I do, can't do even your look best. at it. Do your best, though, because that would be pretty entertaining. That would be hilarious. But I still need your help for this war. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to head him off here. Don't worry about it. Oh, the, you're right there. I didn't yeah, we're, just, we're on, like, diagonal to one another, which is really frustrating. By 200 men. I can't. I need forced march. Oof. That's the other thing I, I, I can't get back into about CK2 is no forced march. So, like, if, if a unit runs away, it's just like, goodbye. Thanks I'll see you coming. eventually. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. trying to trying to chase down armies is pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. In both games, really. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Force to march makes it so you can get across like your entire kingdom in like maybe two months, though, which is crazy. Considering you're just walking. How do they still have positive war score? Do they? Do they, they have some? They crushed a huge one of my armies, like just a massive. Like neither you nor them seem to have any troops. <laughs> to me, that's a zero percent war score. They have four thousand men. Where? Castile. Oh, Castile is just sieging up there. That's Castile. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. Let's see. <laughs> um, I lost. I oh, I lost twenty-two percent from the battle of Cisternia. Another four percent in another battle. Ten percent of that. I just lost battles, so I just lost mm. percentages all the way through. All right. Well, you know. You should be good to go in like a second here. The most excellent. What's this? I can pressure ducal claims on Agder. Why? Ag Agder, like in Scandinavia. In, yeah, in Scandinavia. You oh dude, you have a county in uh. Well, what Norway. the hell? What the hell? Where'd that come from? Why do I have Telemark? <laughs> you it's a good county. <laughs> Did you just inherit it randomly? It's I crazy. think I oh my mother must when my mother died, she must have had that. That's nice. Good work. You've totally planned that, right? <laughs> yeah, my mother. Holy crap, the Duchess of Vestlandet died, and I inherited it. What? Wow. That's it. I'm just going to move my kingdom up to Scandinavia. That well, makes a lot of sense. It'd be very safe there, because we know that Northern Lion is incapable <laughs> of attacking. Yo, I'm trying to help Mathis win his, like, crazy war here that has sprung up. Mm. I can push ducal claims on three separate counties up here. You should do it. Go to war with Scandinavia. See if I care. I won't. Hmm. <clears throat> so never ever go bankrupt. It's really, really bad. The events like stick around for ages. Hmm. Are you are you like financially sustainable now? Oh yeah, I've got fifteen hundred gold, but I still have all of these this incompetent ruler, highway bands, thieves guilds, like it's just ugh. They popped up instantly and they're taking years and years to go away. Speaking of taking years and years to go away, this war with Asturias. Right? I mean, I, like, they're all dead. It's just they have a lot of people in their uh, the holdings to see. Another fucking faction. Jesus. Call doing? me to arms on it. I'll, I'll join you. Oh, sure. that hasn't, hasn't fired yet. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the faction Wait. in uh, the Essex Empire? No, this is a faction against me. Why do people hate you so much? I don't know. You ever think about that? Maybe, you, maybe there's a problem with you. Maybe. I mean, it's possible. I haven't had a chance to really look at myself too long. Mm. God, new spy master, sure. So this is why uh, I, I got lucky and actually invited, or sorry, raised oh, like I, all I, of my. Troops I knocked up your daughter. Um, you don't. You know say that. that's that's Either. really nice, but I would have appreciated a little bit more of a tactful explanation. <laughs> like maybe <laughs> yeah. we're expecting a grandchild, <laughs> not like hey, yeah. you really. Juiced up your daughter, your little girl. Yeah. Now you know. Now you know what we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This, this is not how you Thanks talk for to the a father. Alliance. <laughs> oh yeah. god, it's a disaster. All right, I'm Mavis sure is another eight thousand. Oh. Up. Okay. Well, Did the Aztecs just declare war on you. Uh, yeah. Oh come on. <laughs> Claim on Leon. Oh my gosh. Is that for the duchy uh, or the fuck. the yeah? Uh, King this is for claim on Leon. I don't know. Yeah, he's got a weak claim on the kingdom of Leon, and because you're in the middle of a civil war, he's pressing it. Holy well, <laughs> maybe I'll just play as the Aztec um, Empire. <laughs> oh, I I, no, I think you're gonna end up playing as like uh, Norway or Sweden or one of those guys up in Agder. <laughs> maybe yeah, just go up to Agder. Uh, who who is this? My aunt wants to marry somebody. I'll find her someone nice. Sounds good. You have bigger fish to fry right now, Mathis. Hey, let me raise my 200 men on the way. How do you still only have 200 men? No, That's I'm sorry. I only have 131 men. Now, here's the real question. Are the Asturians hostile to the Aztecs? Because if they could That's eliminate true. themselves, that would be beautiful for all of us. <sighs> awesome. Ooh, they are. Awesome. Okay, so they just helped me beat down the... Castilian? I don't... 
This is a convoluted, convoluted kind of setup we've got here. Yeah. There's no man on these boats? Oh, there's man on these boats. Okay. Very complicated uh, war. There's a lot going very on. Very much so. I'm just trying to kill the heirs of the Aztec Empire. <clears throat> Meanwhile, have, is, have you guys noticed the Timurids? Are they supposed to be uh, important or something? Oh, yeah, they're doing all right, they're, I guess. They're like all of that land. That's a lot of it's land. It's not even good land, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad land. Exactly. Uh, that's not, that land's not worth as much as our land. This land is your land. This land is my <laughs> land! <laughs> All right, Mathis, we're going to knock the uh, Asturias out of the war first, and then right. we'll focus on the Aztecs. I believe in you. Y uh, yeah, you know, you should, because you don't really have any other option, I guess. Oh. To the wretched King Pedro II, may you may you be sewn up alive in the belly of a dead camel. <laughs> this is a formal de declaration of war. Who's this? This is um, nope, Sultan Tifan of Africa. <laughs> What's he fighting me for? Holy war for Valencia. I am now King Jesus of Brittany. Yep, that seems fair. Oh, here you go. Oh, there's a. Uh... <laughs> God what damn is... it, Mathis. Where's the oh. Okay, where's um, where's Valencia? Don't even talk to me for a little oh, while. Oh, it's just that little spot. I could just give that up. We'll see how it goes. Well, yep. Go ahead, give it up now that I've uh, accepted your no, call. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait for you. Like <laughs> you're just like I'm gonna get Asturias first. <laughs> yep. <laughs> my uh, my vassals are gonna be real pleased that I am, you know, churning up the the bodies and souls of tens of thousands of uh, Albion men. <laughs> Just to keep your little, like, <laughs> ten-county kingdom afloat uh, against, you know, a civil war and the Aztec Empire and uh, the Sultan of Africa. And there's one more in there. Oh, is there? Yeah, Count Count of Ugel. Urgel. Urgel. Where the heck is that? I don't know. Soon I'm just going to be a fucking count in, in Norway, though. Do, do me a favor and just white peace, like, some of these if you can. I could white piece. What one could okay, I white don't, piece? Okay, don't white piece. All right, all right. I'm trying though. to think what kind of white piece here. I'm looking. Offer white piece. No. Offer white piece. No. How about this one? <laughs> Offer white piece. No. Okay, well, I tried. So there's no white piece offers. No white piece offers. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I don't like that very much. <laughs> but... Seriously, Asturias but, hey, won't accept a white piece? Soon, so. Asturias won't accept a white piece. Asturias? Oh, I could do an Asturias. You said don't do Asturias. Yeah, I'm just rethinking that, because they have like 7,000 no, troops. they will not accept a white piece. They will not... Asturias will not accept a white piece. Correct. What the F, man? I agree with you. That's not right. They're, they're losing. Like, badly. Sort of. <sighs> well, I'm about to murder somebody at the very least. That's good. I'm just keep gonna. I'm gonna go through all of the heirs of the Aztec Empire, and hope that I become one of them eventually, and then hopefully just murder the fuck out of the Aztec Emperor, take over. All right, Mantis, try white piece with uh, yep. Asturias I'll now. Take a shot. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so might as well. And I'll wait for that to go through. Do you have any troops that you can raise now? Uh, I just got a peace offer from him. All right, he's off. There we go. Hire some mercenaries, man. Yeah, some... I don't really have the kind of money to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, man, I would love to. They need like a EU4 style war score system so I can just like accept your call to arms and then take a few provinces off of them and then just abandon you. <laughs> It wouldn't surprise me at all if you did that. That sounds just like you. He's he's not, you know, I'm being painted as the bad guy here, and it's so unfair because he is offering nothing in this war. It's just all of my troops uh, against the Aztecs, the Africans, and uh, whoever this Count of Urgel is. Yeah, but sometimes and you, you just have to Mathis help people out. Like, Math is just like, hey, I fucked your daughter. <laughs> she was a good lay. Wow. That's I'll exactly you that. what you want to hear, yeah. She was exactly. really good. You educated her well. Wow, that's just gross now. <laughs> just disgusting. Who is this guy? Duke Enrique. Oh, she's pregnant again. 
Oh, that's good. Yeah. I, I feel like Robert De Niro and Meet the Parents or something like that. I'm like, I, don't, I don't get what she sees in this guy. <laughs> it's the worst decision I ever made. Uh, is this the Count of Urgell? It is. Okay. So I'm going to fight the Aztecs, and if I actually win this battle, then you might be able to white piece them. All right. Oh, they have a... Why do they have a bonus here? Oh, it's hills. I didn't know. We should still be okay. I have faith in you. Oh, rah, rah. There's another, there's another 3,000 men coming in, though. It'd be really nice if uh, I had a few men come to my aid in uh, this uh, battle that we're fighting here, Mathis. Oh, gee. Right. You don't need help. I, I shouldn't even be a part of this war. I should just let Mathis eat it. I agree. There you go. I, I killed 11,000 of their men. White yeah, piece, you freaking white piece the Aztecs, man. They still won't accept it. They won't. They're at thirty-five, thirty-six technically, but no, they won't accept it yet. They won't accept it. Did you just have another war get declared? Nope. Okay. That's not me. Well, I'm gonna smash the Urgell troops here <laughs> and then white piece them. I'll take it. This is how this is working. That's now. just white piece the shit out of them. It's exactly, because I'm not fighting. I'm not throwing twenty thousand men at each of these guys. Just so that you know, I can assault their holdings. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, you still have three wars. Yeah, no, I've noticed. <laughs> uh, believe me, I've noticed. You know who else has three wars? Mathis. No, that's what I think he's talking about. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at him. Sultan Tifan of the Tozirud Sultanate, Holy War for Valencia. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, I just raised ten thousand men. Hey, um, that's a lot. I can actually. use that uh, only against the um, the Muslim people, though. They're holy orders. Oh, okay, okay. That's good though, because they have like they have fifteen thousand men. They have fifteen thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So How come I always pick the the heresy or whatever that doesn't have holy orders. I have no holy orders. <sighs> hmm. We, do you guys want to try speed five or sorry speed three? <laughs> oh Jesus! Because <laughs> it's like we we're back on speed two because of the desync last video, but it's so slow. Oh yeah. Well, you know, we've got we've got stuff going on here. Okay. Oh, All right, I'm just sitting around. I can't even catch these guys. Like forced march. <laughs> Please. Your character is homosexual? Mine is? Yeah. He's done a pretty good job of like siring children all things considered. I'm just saying my my character's homosexual too. Just Really? Yeah, just so you know. So you, we got a lot to uh Trade, <laughs> trade war strategies sometime. <laughs> I don't think that's a, a worthwhile decision in EU or CK2 and EU4's era. No. Might end up getting us in more trouble than it's worth. I guess. What oh, you thank you very much, Mathis. Okay. One other Thanks one down. <laughs> well, Ur Urgell seriously will not accept. Urgell's only at 8%. Yeah, okay, they're about to be at minus, well, actually, like, plus 50, probably. Yeah, generally, you have to get them to about 30% before the white piece. Okay. He is just greedy. Oops. Not you, Arumba. That was the pop-up I had. All right, Urgel's at 55. Might even be able to force a uh, surrender soon. And then what about the what about the Africans? How close are they? Uh, we're at eight percent with them. Okay, Urgell's at uh, sixty-seven. If you want a white piece, that's fine. I am. Yep, I'm going to them right now. Range marriage. Yeah, that seems like a good marriage. No, I'm coming in. White I think... piece. Andy's in jail. I don't know how that. Happened. Oh wow, nice. Because he's true. You are not. Yeah, you're not going no. out, buddy. I, I'm coming for this math. This I ought I get to there. marry the Prince of Aragon. You yeah. realize you're you're losing like ten thousand troops right now. Uh, I yeah, they attacked me. I don't know. <clears throat> Was making sure. I got Are pop ups they... and. Oh, they're gonna cross the river to get me. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> so I should win that. This guy has no nose. That is freaky. There you go. Oh, come on. I can't lose this when they have a river crossing. More troops and a river crossing. Come on. Nope. You might have your hands full. 
with the uh, Africans here, Mathis. Yeah, um, I'm moving 500 men up towards you. Oh, dude, sweet, amazing. <laughs> that, that'll make uh, about zero difference. Hang on. That's all I got. Okay, well... I guess we can pause it. Yeah, I brought this yeah, one. Sure. I, uh, I brought this one. You did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yep. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of, uh, you know, Northern Lion fights Mathis battles completely for him. <laughs> it's no, no counter argument offered there because it's all true. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe to whoever's video you're watching and check out the other perspectives by looking at the links in the video descriptions below the video. As always, thanks for watching. We'll be back with another episode tomorrow. See you next time. Bye. See you soon.